Hi guys, this is Serial Gaming here and welcome back to my channel and today we'll be talking about another episode of the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. However, I'll be talking about something a little bit different today and I'll be going through the calls that we'll be getting now until the Crystal Level 90 era. So to get an idea about what is the calls that is going to be very significant and the calls that is going to be very useful for, for both newcomers players as well as veteran players. This video might be too long if I spend too much time talking about every single one of the calls characters so I'm going to make it as fast as possible so if you can't keep up, um, I'm sorry about that but do bear with me and let me know in the comments about this if I miss something. So yep, let's get started. So coming out we'll be having Selfie and uh, Kaya's LD as well as uh, Golbez and Barch LD as well. In this particular lineup, Kaius is actually a really good um, call to look out for. He lands for debuff, unique debuff upon appearing. So both of his call applies the four debuff that I'm going to talk about. The first one is Poison. The second one is Defense Down, which is a total of 50%. Max Bravery Down and of course his unique Doom debuff, which um, breaks the enemy whenever they move. So this is actually a very unique debuff that only applies to Kaya's call for now. So yep, he's definitely one of the more uh, calls I will actually pay attention to if I'm going to look for units that have good calls. Defense down by 50% may not be a lot, but it's like I said, unique. So you can actually stack it with other defense down calls like Aris or uh, Gabrans or even the upcoming uh, Vanille's call. So next we'll be talking about Selfie's call. Selfie herself her LD call herself is not really that significant in terms of party aura or the enemy's debuff. She lands, I mean she launched the enemy one turn and then she provides 100% gravity to their bravery so it's kind of good if you want to shave off the bravery but most importantly her best kit is actually if you have her EX 3 out of 3 which she will then provides aura upon appearing and for those who doesn't know what aura is, it's actually a unique buff that enables the party to gain their EX recast a lot faster and this may be not very useful now considering that EX right now is kind of like a filler attack or something to just to boost your own longevity but going forward into the Crystal Level 90 era where everyone has a boost in their own EX capability her call might be more useful than one would consider especially for units that extend buff like Squall and uh, Firin or even Arif through their EX, yeah. So in my opinion, the entire Kaius BT banner phase, you could only look out, really look out for these two units, which is Selfie and Kaius. Um, there's one popular call commonly used in JP though, which is um, Yida. She's not exactly providing any buff or debuff to the party or the enemies, but she does have a very fast animation and which deals a huge chunk of damage so she's commonly used in co-op as a way to fast farm yeah so might want to look into that so going on moving forward we'll be entering the uh, Jagran's BT banner era um, Sarge is definitely one to look out for in this uh, particular lineup he provides 100% crit rate to the party so in the instances where you require criti critical damage to units that cannot be break, it, he might be very useful. One of the very prime example would be Safer Sephiroth. Yep, so definitely might want to look into Sarge in this case. And we'll also be getting one of the best call that is com uh, frequently used in JP, which is Franz call. Franz LD call actually applies the uh, Vera punishment debuff. She apply at 3 stacks to all of the enemy and 3 stacks might not be a lot because it only provides a measly 20% defense down and 10% attack down, 20% uh, max bravery down without any increment, increment in the bravery damage taken and HP damage taken. However, every hit the enemy gets, it will increase the stacks by 1 level and it can go up to level 10. While active, this will reduce the speed by 10%, increase Bravery damage by 10%, increase HP damage by 10% and reduce the bravery recovery. So it's another unit where the stacks, uh, her stacks can actually provides a lot more and she only lands one debuff in her LD. So this is very useful considering how much she provides in that one debuff 
40% defense down maximum as well as uh, bravery damage taken and HP damage taken up by 10%. It's very unique and very useful. So yeah, I would say Front is definitely one of the better calls in the late era. So moving forward from Jagran's uh, BT banner, mate, banner phase, we will be having Machina. And in the Machina banner phase, I would say Pain is the first one to be to look out for. In her regular call, she already applies her unique debuff, which is um, Status Break, which actually reduces the uh, overall stats of Initial Bravery, Max Bravery, Attack and Defense by 20%. She's very commonly used if you want to do the unique uh, Zero Initial Bravery. But her LD calls though, she provides the caller 100% critical rate as well as um, 30% bravery damage dealt and of course this only applies for 3 turns so it's not particularly useful in the long run but it does boost the damage if you want to use her during your um, BT phase but she's not her LD is not what makes her unique I think the only unique part about her calls is that if you want to use the zero initial bravery strat I'm not sure whether it could still be cheesable right now but yeah if you want to do that pain is definitely the call that you should take a look out for and alongside um, the release of Machina's BT we also be getting um, Shantoto's BT plus and Shantoto's coming back with um, Waka's LD so both of the unit here is actually very decent in their calls. Waka has a very uh, RNG call where he drops either the uh, he can drop the status reel, which reduce defense by fifty percent, and of course the initial bravery by fifty percent as well. This is also quite uniquely tied if you were to do the uh, zero initial bravery strat, like I mentioned before with pain. As for uh, Shantoro. For those who doesn't have her, she has a very unique paralysis stun and she does provide a very good amount of uh, defense down in both her calls which in total reduce the enemy's defense by 70%. Yep, so definitely make, might take a look out on this too. And of course, we'll be having Snow's call as well. Okay, Snow, it do he doesn't provide a lot of... Uh, utility in his call but one thing I want to point out about Snow particularly because he's very useful to me right now in the JP era because I don't have Kurosame and Snow provides Ice and Chan to the um, to the caller so why is this actually useful is because um, Camelonaut's LD I uh, mean FR actually requires you to do Ice damage to ramp up the uh, FR gauge or FR charge percentage so if you don't have Kurosame, I'm not sure whether he'll be getting his rerun anytime soon. If I'm correct, I so far haven't get his rerun yet in JP. So yep, Snow is definitely one to look out for if you want to ramp up the uh, FR gauge for Camelot if you don't have Kurosame's call. And that's what I did with Titus. Yep. Alright, so that's it. Oh, it's actually a lot shorter than I thought, but it's fine. So to conclude, uh, which call I actually identify here, I let me re-mention again. Those calls that are really good would be Kaya's call, which applies the debuff. That is unique, so he can stack with other defense down debuff as well. And of course, Selfie for the aura buff. And next would be um, Yida for the popular pick for uh, fast co-op farming. And following up would be Fran. Uh, no, sorry, Sarge which actually provides a 100% critical up to the entire party and of course Fran, one of the best um, call in the current era if you don't have Kurosame, definitely try for her she provides the HP damage up which is very rare and of course uh, increase in the bravery damage dealt as well and following up we have Pain and uh, Waka to deal with the unique initial bravery down strat I mean zero initial bravery strat and of course Shantoro for the clutch paralysis and a huge defense now debuff and of course lastly would be Snow only because he enchant the caller with uh, Ice Elemental which is quite rare and, uh, and especially useful in the upcoming um, FR status when you don't have Kurosame he can ramp up uh, Camelot's uh, FR gauge I mean FR charge percentage so yeah these are the calls that in my opinion you should take a look out for 
So if I miss anything or if I did not provide the best um, details here, I'm really sorry about that. And do let me know in the comments below if you have more ideas about which call is actually useful before the uh, Crystal 11 ID era. And for those who don't know where I searched the details for the calls, uh, capability and description i will leave the link down below in the description so you can take a look on the link uh, i mean on the website it's uh actually created by ram and team and his team or her team so definitely give credit to them they are very awesome and that's they definitely help a lot in the jp as well so yep thank you again for watching if you enjoy my content here be sure to like and subscribe to my channel thank you again and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers guys